Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. Find anything? Well, I found, um, just this screwdriver from the glove box. That's it. Oh, that might come in handy. What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Look, I think I could twist this open from the inside with that little screwdriver I found. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <laughs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. The little key from Grandma's diary? What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids? Uh, I... Well, was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you and August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9, Hop to Lake, Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up, and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner, and... Mom, stop. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. It's about who I really am. Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who, who are we? These are big questions, Mom, and you're just gonna turn around and drive home? Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, 
I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with and, and why she never told me about it and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happen to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. Right.